wrapped up the road trip. We are done. And it is now birthday month. Ooh. And it's time for another adventure. Let's go. We've just stopped off at somewhere on the road between Wodonga and Melbourne because I'm taking Brendan on a surprise trip and he's got no idea where we're going. I have been planning this surprise for six months. So I've been sneaking online, sneaking around on phone calls. One week from today, Brendan's birthday surprise is going to happen and it's gonna blow his mind. So where do you think you might be going for your birthday? I don't know. No one will tell me. It seems like everyone in the family knows except me. And no one's letting me in on it. And my massive Abdullah Mlangwangwala, my big brain, is not helping me at all this time. I'm pretty good. I can usually, if I get a present, I can judge what it is just by looking at it. And I, every year I hit the nail on the head. And I think that's why you've done this to me. Because now my present for my birthday is not wrapped. So I don't know <laughs> what's going on at the moment. Now sorts. Technically, you'll get your birthday present in seven days from now. Now? Seven days. So at this stage, what do you think? What's your number one guess? If you've oh. got a guess, one guess. Well, oh, I've got a dog. I don't know. I don't know. Spawn. It's spawn. You take me to a toy shop. I can buy spawn. So because he's not getting his birthday present from me, I thought I better give him some presents from someone else today. Happy birthday to a true classic. That's me. Wishing you a special day full of exciting adventures and joyous surprises. So she knows too. So everybody knows except me that what a fantastic gift that is. The, the gift of deceit. It's the first time back at an airport in over a year. Busy. Okay, we're about to find out where our first stop is. <laughs> we're going to Adelaide. How yeah, good is that? It was pretty straightforward. We just had to show our border check-in that we did before we came. They check your ID and then just need to check in in front of them and then you're sent on your way. Figured out where we're going. Have any of you out there guessed? Me and my beautiful wife Virginia who's organised this whole charade are going to dive with great white sharks. How good is that? So the secret's out. He knows what we're up to. After six months of planning, we're finally, finally, finally going on this cage diving adventure with the Great White Shark. I really wanted to plan something that would be mind-blowing for Brendan's birthday. He does so much for me and so when I asked him what would be the one thing that if we can't leave Australia you would like to do, what's your top bucket list adventure? When he said diving with Great White Sharks, I was like, I can do that. So, ever since that moment, I've been plotting and planning secretly to make this dream come true. Okay, we're just outside of Wyala and we've only just discovered this geo... Geocache. Geocache. So we're going to try and find our first ever... It's like finding Pokemon people hide stuff places. Except they're real physical items. Anyway, let's go see what we can find. We're going to see if we can get it. There's a red back on it. So be careful when you're doing this stuff. There's a big red back, see? Welcome to Australia. Big female red back. And he's, he's still alive. He dropped the pen. He gives the pen off. Just... 20, 21. That's it. Yep. We found the case. So we've got to put it back. I'm not allowed to tell anyone where it goes. Okay. Check out this silo. It's bloody unreal. It's the world's biggest cricket pitch.
Congratulations, guys. Good. Well done, mate. You did well. Oh, thanks. Well. thanks very much. Qualified diver, right here. That's it. It was worth shaving off the moustache. Geez, that was fun. It was hard work, but it was bloody fun. And the amount of stuff we got to see down there. Geez, what a ripper. actually. I didn't see one when I was down in the cage. I got heaps of cage time. I saw all sorts of stuff. And as soon as I got up, boom, there it was. Big bloody great white shark swimming along the top of the surface. Virginia was down in the cage at the time, so she got to actually, she got to see him. He swam straight past her and I got to see it happen from above. We've had a ripper of a day. I bloody recommend this to everyone. Watch out for this one. <laughs> this one here, she's trouble. That one's not so bad. Oh, look. Things have changed. Things are getting real ordinary real quick. It's gone, it's gone south. There's no coffee. I can't have a cup. There are the culprits. One of these two have bunged it up. Where's Taj? Where's Taj when you need him? How you going, guys? My name's Taj. I'm a local surfer, Paul Lincoln. What's your job here on the boat, Taj? Uh, professional uh, shark actor. Shark actor? Yeah. What, is, what does that and kind of just, job role then take, mate? What do you do? 
Uh, well, I usually pass out a few dance moves on the back deck there. And, um, you, get yeah. a bit, you get a bit smooth on the moves, do you, mate? Yeah, mate. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check it out, ladies. This bloke is single. He knows, he knows how to dance. Only 16, only 16. See, you'll have to wait a few years, girls. He's a legend. Look, he's, he's about six foot tall. He's a big unit, girls. You should look how tall. This is actually real size, how tall he is. What a unit, mate. He'll look after you.